This morning, controversy and confusion as five Americans held prisoner for years in Iran arrive back in the U.S. and reunite with their families after a stopover in Doha, the Biden administration celebrating the prisoner swap. It means that husbands and wives, fathers and children, grandparents can hug each other again, can see each other again. So it's a day that I'm grateful for. But not everyone is so pleased. As part of the swap, the Biden administration is granting clemency to five Iranians held in the U.S., and it will unfreeze $6 billion in Iranian oil revenues. This involved the um, access by Iran to its own money, money that uh, had accumulated in uh, Korean Bank as the result of oil sales that Iran made. The Biden administration says Iran has agreed to use the money only for humanitarian needs like food and medicine. They're not getting cash. They're not going to they can't just cut a check and, and pull out the money for whatever they want, whenever they want. Republicans call it a ransom payment and warn Iran will use the money to fund terrorism. Any reasonable person would conclude that uh, Tehran is going to learn from this lesson that there is incentive to taking more Americans wrongfully and using that uh, to get payments, to get relief from sanctions. The latest example of President Biden rewarding and incentivizing Tehran's bad behavior. Iran's president has said Iran will use the $6 billion however it sees fit. But the Biden administration insists U.S. officials will approve each transaction. The White House says this deal does not signal any change in relations with Iran. Iran's president speaks today at the U.N. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.